Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to D Luna DIY Mom. My name is Denise. Thank you guys all for watching today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a wooden kit easel for dry erase board and a um, chalkboard. So I have some inspiration pictures that look like this and this. So you can look at so many inspiration pictures on uh, when you Google this kit easel and they're pretty pricey. So I'm... I went onto YouTube and saw some videos of some people making this uh, wooden easel, but I saw that you need a lot of tools that some mommies might not have. So I'm gonna be trying to do this as easy as possible. You are going to have to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store so you can get some items that you might not have at home but also make sure that you get uh, wood that is recycled or free. So because wood is so expensive right now in California, we want to get free wood. So I'm trying to make this video for, as easy as possible for mommies with less um, equipment than other videos and um, cost efficient as well. So I'm DIYing this because I need it in my home and um, I can't put things on the wall on the walls too much because uh, once I move out, I don't wanna have to be left with doing it too much. So since I do have the space, I am gonna be using this easel in the kids' playroom so I can teach them and they can do their arts and crafts. So hopefully you guys stick around to the full video and see how I made this and that it's helpful to you. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and it will really help me so much. So let's just get started guys. So I got this um, in Christmas and my husband got this for me. So you are going to be needing this um, compact, uh, what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. It's a circular saw. So for all of those DIY mommies, um, learn how to use this because it will be come in so helpful in case you want to um you find wood on the sidewalk or if people want to give you wood after a uh, scrap wood after um a construction site whatever recycle your wood guys This wood is um, recycled wood. These are the baseboards from my parents' in bed, and they measure for about three inches by three by one, and three by one inch point. and. These were the baseboards for the bed frame of my parents' other bed. So you can ask if somebody is throwing out their bed frame. So once we had gone to Home Depot to get our supplies, um, I'm measuring the whiteboard to measure 24 inches by 24 inches. 
and that's where I'm going to make my cut. The planks, I'm going to measure 48 inches long and I need four of them 40 inches long. So then I'm going to measure 24 inches long for uh, two of them for one frame and then I need two more 24 inches for another frame. Now I went outside and I used my saw and I'm using it for the first time so um, don't criticize me how I'm cutting it all crooked and not that correct. So anyways, I tried my best and um, probably some mommies who are new to using that tool are going to appreciate that I'm trying my best. So anyways, in this video that I referenced, I was going to do the pocket holes, but I decided not to do it because I didn't have that tool. So instead, since I just have a screw gun, so I was just uh, overlapping the planks and screwing uh, and putting two screws on each side. So then I measured 24 inches long, so I am able to put the other plank and screw it as you can see there. Now for my board that I'm cutting, um, it was a little bit difficult to cut, so in the end I had my dad do it. And I already had my two frames as you can see here. Then after I have my two frames, then I put it on the table and then I'm, I screwed um, one of the drywall screws, one on each end. Try to um, align it as, um, as best as possible. Since I did not cut my board correctly, um, it didn't go to the edge as I wanted it, but it's okay because it works still. So the screws that I used to do that were one and uh, I believe three fourths of an inch. So if I'm reading this uh, measuring tape correctly, then on the other frame, now I'm putting a turn it around and I put the chalkboard. So now you have a white board and a black board, which is a chalkboard. Then after that, I uh, screwed the hinges that I bought from Home Depot. Um, I put them side by side, uh, facing the back on the table, and then I just screwed the hinges um, one on each side. So now I'm using some scrap wood and it's 11 by 1 fourth of an inch and I'm just going to be screwing it to my frame as you saw me pointing to the wood that I'm going to screw it on. So I'm going to put two screws, one there and one right there on each side so the frame is not going to go anywhere and it's not going to be wobbly for my kids and it's not going to um, fold on them. So that's very important. I'm going to do it to one side and then I'm going to do it to the other side. So I already had this uh, paper holder from Ikea and it cost me $7.99. So I decided to attach it to um, this easel and the way we did it was we took the legs out and then the frame that it already came with um, in that board, we just screwed it to the frame of the easel. Now with these clips, I already had that paper and I just clipped it on one side. I went to the Dollar Tree and I grabbed two of um, pencil holders and two of those trays as you see right there with some um, wooden screws um, which are pretty small and I screwed the trays to each side and the pencil holders one on each side so I can put the dry erase uh, markers on one end and the chalk markers or the chalk pencils or the So now what we're going to do is look at uh, the things that I put there. I uh, put some watercolors and a little cup and their brushes so they can have their water and their brushes to paint. Um, this paper there that I put with some clips, uh, they can use it for um, painting with markers. 
this chalk writer I got from a Daiso Japan and of course there is um, the chalkboard that's the black side and these uh, washable markers you can use the paper for or you can uh, have your kid stamp or paint on this side um, since I do have two kids I am trying to um, have both sides to have some paper so since the paper roller is on top and it lands on the dry erase board side so then I put that um, the, this pa big pa jumbo paper um, on this side with some paper clips so um, as you can see this uh, chalk marker is called chalk writer I don't have an eraser for it so I just use a wipey so as you can see it's kind of, it does erase but it's kind of more of a pasty substance rather than a regular chalk that's gonna make a mess inside you can put this easel outside if you want so that's one of the advantages of having uh, this easel um, being very movable so next let's go to this side of the tray and this side of the tray I just put like I said markers and a pencil and a eraser and crayons on this side the painting materials and on this side is the dry erase board with dry erase markers and the dry eraser so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed this video and that is it for now You don't really need to buy the extras, just the chalkboard and the hinges and the free wood. So there you have it.